The Dublin Shamrocks are 8-5 with four games left in their season, and that record was just enough for us to hold on to the fifth seed in the projected NFL playoff picture. It was going to be a tough road for us to close out the season, though, as we had games against the Los Angeles Rams, the New York Jets, the San Francisco 49ers, and the Dallas Cowboys. Despite his rough start to the season, Jacoby Brissett has turned his play around here in the second half of the season, and hopefully that play continues and he can help lead us to the playoffs. We were starting the last stretch of the season on the road taking on the Rams, and on our very first drive, we were backed up quickly to a third and 11, but we would end up converting to Terry McLaurin. And hopefully we wouldn't be in too many other spots like that where we would have to rely on our passing game. We had been doing a good job of keeping the ball on the ground and being efficient at it at the same time today. But we would be faced with another third down and Jacoby Brissett would go to the air to pick up the first down. And that would set us up with a second and goal where Antonio Gibson would find the end zone for us. And we would take the first lead of the day headed into the second quarter and we would come out and get a stop against the Rams but on their very next possession they were driving and looking to score as they would end up finding the end zone here as we would jump to the fourth quarter and we would find ourselves down by 5 14 to 19 to the Rams that third down stop would force us to go for it on fourth down and we would pick it up and would be faced with another short yardage situation as on third and inches Brian Robinson would pick it up for us as we now found ourselves just outside of the 10 yard line Jacoby Brissett would roll out to throw he would find Brian Robinson who would fight his way into the end zone and with that touchdown we would take a one point lead but now we needed to get a stop on defense against this Los Angeles Rams offense we had a chance here on third and three but unfortunately Cooper Cup would pick up the first down and now Matthew Stafford had this offense moving as they were looking like they were going to get into field goal range here on first and ten with only 40 seconds left to go Matthew Stafford would swing it out to the right side but we would force a fumble and recover it as that would seal the game for us here in Los Angeles and we would barely squeak away with a 20 to 19 win like we had touched on earlier this episode Jacoby Brissett's good play had continued for us this week as that win over the Rams had us tied for first place in the NFC East and thankfully we hadn't moved as we were still holding on to the fifth seed in the playoffs as we were now getting ready for next week's matchup which would be another one on the road against Aaron Rodgers in the Jets Jacoby Brissett's solid play needed to continue for us today if we wanted to win and right out of the gate our offense wasn't looking good at all against the Jets and we would go three and out and be forced to punt the ball away on our first drive. Aaron Rodgers and the Jets offense got right to work as he was moving the ball down the field as on second and goal Rodgers would find the end zone for a touchdown but they would end up missing the extra point so the Jets would only go up six nothing. Jacoby Bursette had helped our offense get down the field and we were looking to score but he would end up throwing an interception here throwing away an opportunity but unlike our offense our defense stepped up for us as they would get a sack on Aaron Rodgers and we're looking to do that again on the Jets next drive but they would pick up the first down Rodgers and the Jets offense were now moving down the field looking to strike again as he would go deep to the end zone for a touchdown so we were now down 13 to nothing and we needed to respond quickly if we wanted to stay in this game as Jacoby Brissett found Jahad Dotson for a touchdown but as we all know Aaron Rodgers is a bad man at the quarterback position as he would get his team down the field before halftime into the end zone as we were now down by 10 to start the second half and we needed to get this stop on defense which we would do fourth down and for some reason the Jets decided to run a fake field goal as our defense would get the stop and in turn would set up a Jacoby Brissett touchdown only down by three we had a chance to stop the Jets here as we could have sacked them out of field goal range but would miss as after kicking that field goal we would not put any points on the board and they had a chance now to run this clock out to win the game one more first down for the Jets would seal the game as they would pick it up no problem shedding one tackle down to the 20 as Aaron Rodgers would kneel the ball for the Jets and they would walk away with a 26 to 20 victory but despite that loss we were still holding on to the fifth seed in the playoffs we were taking on the 49ers next week which was going to be an extremely tough matchup as they had one of the best defensive players in the league in Nick Bosa, who was going to make trying to run the ball against this team a nightmare for us. We were back home in Dublin for this matchup, but Brock Purdy and the 49ers were looking to spoil our homecoming this week. They would get out to an early 7-0 lead, and we were trying to stop them from expanding on it, as we would finally get the ball and move it down inside 49er territory, but would be backed up to a 3rd and 9, and none other than Nick Bosa would make a play, as that sack would force a 4th and 15, and we'd have to settle for a field goal. Down 14-3 with 
with less than two minutes to go in the first half. We needed to get a stop against the 49ers, but it didn't look like that was going to happen this drive as they would get into the end zone. We would have a chance with less than 20 seconds to go in the first half, but Jacoby Brissett couldn't get that one off. Nick Bosa on their defensive line isn't the only thing that's been giving us problems today as Christian McCaffrey was gashing us all game. As this was quickly turning into a blowout as we were down 35-3 to and we could not seem to get anything going on offense as we would fail on 4th and 6. The 49ers weren't done either as they would go for it on 4th and 2 as that would convert into a touchdown for them and we had one last chance to try to get some points on the board but Jacoby Brissett would end up throwing an interception to the 49ers defense which would be a pick 6 and this one would be an embarrassing game to lose at home as we would drop it 49-3. to This was perhaps one of Jacoby Brissett's worst performances of the season and to add insult onto injury or should I say injury onto insult Antonio Gibson was going to be out for four weeks with a broken thumb. Despite all of this we were still barely holding on to the fifth seed in the playoffs but only being a game ahead of the Giants we were in a position to potentially lose that playoff spot so with our last game of the season coming up against the Dallas Cowboys it was absolutely critical that we won this game. We got the ball first to start today's game and it looked like we were going to be off to a good start against the Cowboys but unfortunately Madden pulled the glitch where they sub out all of our starters for the game so we would have to just deal with it as Jacoby Brissett was going to be working with his third and fourth string receivers this game. Despite the situation we were still starting to look strong on this opening drive but Jacoby Brissett would throw an interception and that would be taken back the other way by the Cowboys as this would be a pick six to start the game. So we needed to stop the bleeding here and come up with a third down stop which thankfully we would do and now we're trying to put up our own touchdown on the board but it would be tough as we were backed up to a third and 17 and would go with the halfback screen and we would end up being short so we would have to settle for a field goal. Dak Prescott had gotten the Cowboys offense down the field before halftime and was looking to add on more points as on third and six Prescott would drop back to throw and we would get there for a sack and thankfully would hold the Cowboys to only a field goal before halftime. It was nearing the end of the third quarter now and we were down by two possessions and needed to pick up this first down but our offense hadn't been able to get anything except this field goal the entire third quarter. Down by two possessions we needed to pick up this fourth down if we wanted to stay alive as this drive was still going strong and we weren't out of this game yet but we needed to score quickly if we wanted any chance at winning as on second and goal we would find the end zone with three and a half minutes to go but now we needed to come out on defense and get a stop against Dak Prescott and the Cowboys offense. It wasn't looking good for us though as they would pick up two first downs in a row and would get past midfield on this play as that would bring us to the two minute warning and we needed to get a stop here as one more first down would seal the game for the Cowboys and they would pick it up. So all Dak Prescott would have to do is take a knee and the Cowboys would end up winning the season finale 17 to 14. With that loss we had a potential chance at losing out on our playoff spot and the Giants could jump us in the division standings if they won their final game against the Eagles and they would do just that as they would pick up the 35 to 7 win but we would just barely manage to hold on to the sixth seed headed into the NFL playoffs.